Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a new handbag review of my newest bag, which you can probably tell by the thumbnail, is the Coach Bandit bag. And I've been talking about this bag on my channel for quite some time, so you probably already saw this coming. I do have the smaller version, which is the crossbody, and that's in the Mint X Surf collection. I will leave the full review on that in the description box below if you missed that one. But the bag that I have today is actually the larger size so it's typically called the shoulder bag style but you can also wear it cross body and I'm really really excited because I just got it so I cannot wait to get into this but if you're new here welcome my name is Alyssa and I have a blog called the gals guide and I come on here and I review my luxury and contemporary handbags so if you love handbags as much as I do you should definitely consider subscribing down below hit that little red button I would love to have you join this little community with me here and to my current subscribers thank you so much for being here. I'm truly grateful for you and I love chatting with you in the comments down below. I genuinely appreciate your support as always so just thank you so much for being here. That being said, let's get into the video. So the handbag that I'm reviewing today is this Coach Bandit and this is in the dark stone color. I'm absolutely obsessed with it so far. I just got it in and the quality of the leather is just breathtaking. This is so beautiful with that cream stitching. I'm really, really impressed with the feel of this leather. And I don't know exactly what it is. It may be calfskin. I know it is full grained leather. And it is some of the best quality that I have ever gotten from Coach. And it's definitely at the level of luxury. So I can see why this is definitely becoming such an it bag. This color is even more beautiful in person than when I saw it online. And the back is just plain but it does have this really great back pocket which I do still have the tag on it and then it has really great gold hardware the grommets on the top are the gold I also just love the cream stitching throughout this bag it's absolutely breathtaking and then the bottom is that raised kind of elevated look it does not have feet on the bottom you have this really great dog tag so you just pop this open to get it open and then here it says genuine grain full leather so this is from the 1941 collection of coach and the leather is just absolutely beautiful this inside color this tan is gorgeous I I would like to see a bag in this color honestly I don't know what the name of this color is but this is the interior pocket on the front then you have obviously this, this bigger space I love this pouch back here because it reminds me of like a little sunglass case and then you also have an additional pocket back here which is a little bit thinner so you have a few ways to wear this bag so you can wear it either as a crossbody or you can pull the strap here and wear it as a shoulder bag, which personally, I'm gonna wear this both ways. I'm actually really, really excited because when I tried this bag on, it's actually a really great size to wear crossbody or shoulder bag, whereas I feel like it doesn't look awkward either way, where I was a little bit worried that it was gonna look a little too big as a crossbody, but it's actually really perfect. And I love the fact that it has the back pocket. I definitely am gonna put my phone back there, so let's just see if it fits. So I have the iPhone iPhone 14 Pro and I'm just gonna slide it back here and it does fit back there really easy access the leather is definitely a little bit more structured and feels like it's not super bendy feeling if that makes sense I'm gonna try to describe the feel of the leather to you because I think the photos are deceiving it looks like it's gonna be easily scratched. Like when you look at the leather online, it looks like it's like a really soft, and it is very soft, but I wouldn't say it feels like you're gonna scratch it immediately. Like it almost has this kind of like smooth coating to it that feels a little bit more like, not a suede, but it feels a little bit more worn down or like worn in. It doesn't feel as, smushy as it looks if that makes sense so like if you can hear that I don't know if that's helpful it's so firm that I don't really think it's gonna get scratched as easily as it looks which 
is deceiving, but the leather on this is really beautiful. It's a really nice material. It feels very different than anything else that Coach has ever done. I do have the crossbody version here. This is the crossbody style. This is the Mint X Surf kind of print, and it's definitely different in size. Like, this is way smaller than this. So if you want me to do a comparison video, leave that in the comments down below. I'd be happy to do that. But so I do kind of want to see what fits in this bag. Overall, I will say the quality is impeccable. I'm just very, very impressed so far. So we're going to go ahead and see what fits. So when you open this bag, it is a little bit difficult to get this open when you have nothing in it. So just keep that in mind. When you have it more stuffed, it's easier to open and close. I'm going to take my phone out of the back there, and I'm just going to show you what it would look like if you wanted to carry it inside the pocket. So you have so much space in there that it's very, very roomy. I'm not going to put my phone in for the rest of the video. I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you what I would normally carry and show you what fits, and then if I can add more, I'll continue to add more. So I'm gonna start with my Louis Vuitton key pouch. This is what I use as my wallet. So I'm gonna put that in the largest pocket. Also gonna put in my Alexander McQueen card holder. I just keep like gift cards and stuff in there. So I'll show you what that looks like. You've got two small leather goods and there's still a ton of space. I'm gonna put in a third small leather good. So this I got from Sephora and it's a little Valentino pouch. So it's from their lipstick holiday set. And I just think this is so cute. So I'm gonna fill this with some cosmetics. I'll show you what I'm putting in here. So I'm going to put in my Dior Lip Maximizing Gloss. You know I love this. I'm going to put in some Travel Size Advil. I'm going to put in a Glossier Lip Gloss. And that's what that looks like. So I'm going to zip that up. And that will fit in this bigger pocket. So you can see I've got three small leather goods. Typically, I would also put my key fob in here. I don't have that right now, but I would put that right up here. And then I could also probably fit a hand cream. So this is from Bath & Body Works. This is paraffin, and I absolutely love that. So I just stuck that back there. This closes, and it does. So that's great. We've got three small leather goods and a hand cream, and then I would put my phone in the back. So we'll put that back there. And that's what it looks like. So you've got the phone back here, the three small leather goods. You could also fit a pair of keys or something in here. I think if I didn't have so many small leather goods, I could fit a sunglass case. So that would be pretty easy to do if you just had, like, if I remove this, I could definitely fit a pair of sunglasses in that back pocket. I think that would be perfect. In the far back pocket, you could fit some like hair ties or something like that. So overall, I really like the size of this. This definitely fits way more than the crossbody version size. I would say this is not big enough to fit like a water bottle or anything like that. Maybe like a mini, mini, mini umbrella. I don't necessarily think that that's something you'd wanna put in this bag, but just, in, just to give you a size reference, it's definitely not a super large bag. I would say it's more of a small to medium size. As far as size comparison goes, I would maybe compare this to the Chanel small flap, not the medium. I think that this is actually a really comparable size to that, if I'm being honest. But what I love about this bag is the functionality, the structure, the leather, and I'm really excited to wear this. I am gonna wear this today. I will show you this styled on me. I am five foot two. As a shoulder bag, I absolutely love this. I think it's so cute. It sits at the perfect height under the shoulder and I just love the doubled up strap. I think it looks really nice. This is where it lays on me as a crossbody. I do have this on the shortest setting and I think it's absolutely perfect. It hits right at my hip. It's very easy access and it doesn't look too bulky or anything to me. I think this looks really proportionate. Also wear it on the crook of your arm, which I think is super cute. As a longer shoulder bag, this is perfect. I think that this looks really relaxed and casual, and I actually think I'll probably wear it like this quite a bit. 
So the color of this bag is absolutely stunning. I was definitely in between getting this one and the ivory color. I do have my coach Cassie in the chalk color, so I didn't know if I needed another coach bag in white, but I am kind of debating on if that is something I may want to get down the road or maybe getting like a pillow Madison 18 in the ivory or the chalk. I think that would be really pretty, but I just feel like this bag and the Cassie bag are comparable in size, but the Cassie is a little bit more casual. Like this is definitely really upscale looking. I would say the quality of this bag is definitely better than the Cassie, which I have never really said. I really love the Cassie bag. This bag to me is at the level of luxury. So today is gonna to be my first day carrying this bag. I'm gonna take it shopping with me and I will definitely report back and do an updated video and review, maybe comparing it to the smaller size and also maybe kind of doing an update on wear and tear as I start to wear it more. I'm definitely excited. This is definitely an it bag for Coach right now and I think it's so classic that it will really stand the test of time. So that is my first impression review. If you're still here with me, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. And if you have any questions about this bag, leave that in the comments down below. I'd be happy to answer those for you. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. I post handbag videos once a week. Thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.